Sunday blessings, Sunday blessings, Sunday blessings. You know what I'm going to say. If you're watching this program, then you have already been blessed because God has woken you up this morning. Let's get right into, actually today, I'm not doing a Sunday sermon note. I'm doing more of an inspirational reading today. It's going to be very short, but it's going to be very helpful if you do it. All right, let's get right into it. Go ahead and get out your Bibles, though, or your device, because there is a scripture reference. Mark chapter 9, verse 29. He said unto them, This kind can come forth by nothing but by prayer and fasting. Mark chapter 9, verse 29. Try praying and fasting. Are you facing a problem that prayer alone hasn't yet solved? Do you have a loved one who has been taken captive by drugs or alcohol or some other destructive power? Do you have family problems? Do you have problems on your job? Do you have depression or just simply things that prayer alone has not solved. Try praying and fasting. Sometimes the spiritual battle you're in is so intense that it calls for denying the legitimate needs of your body and building up your faith through prayer and fasting so that you are able to prevail. And notice I said this is a spiritual battle you're in. Jesus had told his disciples, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. Yet, when the disciples were confronted with a demon-possessed boy with self-destructive tendencies, the disciples were disappointed because they prayed and nothing happened. And when they asked Jesus why, Jesus said to them, This kind can come forth by nothing but by prayer and fasting. So the only way that demon could come out of that young boy was by prayer and fasting. When the Jewish people were threatened with annihilation, only the king could save them. So Esther said, gather all the Jews and fast for me. I will fast likewise. And so I will go to the king. As a result... Haman, who had plotted their destruction, was hanged on his own gallows, and the entire Jewish nation was saved. There are times in life when you must say no to your physical needs so that you can focus on your spiritual needs. Fasting sharpens your focus in prayer. Fasting fortifies your faith. Fasting prepares you to meet a challenge and bring miraculous results. Fasting is about having single-mindedness in your search for God's help, and it brings great results. So try praying and fasting. All right, you've got the tools that you need. So if whatever you're dealing with today, you've been praying and praying and praying, but you haven't quite had your breakthrough yet, Go ahead and try praying and fasting. All right. God bless you. I feel some more powerful things coming on. And just remember that God is with us no matter what. He goes before us and he makes a way and he walks us through also. And we're never alone. All right. God bless you. Love on everybody around you. Whatever you do. Do not give up because God has not given you a spirit of fear or failure. So try praying and fasting. God bless you. Have a wonderful, blessed week. And I love you.